All right, g'day dudes. It's MK Bricks here. I am back again. New week, new video. Well, I think it's been a week. Might have been more actually. I don't know. I'll lose track of time. Um, as you can see, today's mock is not Fallout related. So yeehaw, giddy up. Um, something new. I've sort of pigeonholed myself as a Fallout builder recently, but with my big Fallout mock, for those of you that um, that do follow me on Instagram and have watched my past videos. But I am actually nearly finished with this build, the Fallout build. Anyway, enough about that. This is Harry Potter related. So, as you can see, this is one carriage I've mocked up for the Hogwarts Express. I've got our big Ronnie here. Oh, we've got our syringe pointer to guide the way today. Big Ronnie's there for a comparison, you know, so you can get a sense of scale. Um, yeah, I mean, what can I say? It's the Hogwarts Express carriage. The one that came with the set was very sort of lackluster, but look, it is for kids, so I understand, but I was always going to, um, going to build my own version. I haven't actually tackled the engine or the, uh, the tender yet, so I think it's called, it's called a tender. Anyway, I think it is anyway, I'm going to, otherwise I'll sound like an idiot. Maybe it's these, um... These photography lights I have above, above my head, they're like cooking my brain. My head feels like a uh, one of those greasy rotisserie chickens, you know, above the charcoals. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm getting a bit off, off track here. So, look, what I've done here, the original set had the black base running underneath, which was 24 studs long. I've extended it on either side by 12 studs total. So now it's 36, if my math is correct. 36 studs long. Instead of the uh, standard 24. Um, the other big thing y you might have picked up on, because it's probably staring you right in the face, is I actually have put the battery box from the, the powered up inside the uh, the actual carriage, and I have one motor pushing and one motor pulling. Um, because I, this is actually version 2. I worked on the first version yesterday, and um, without power functions, I just had one of my engines pull it, and it just it barely moved, because this is an 8 eight stud wide build so and it's quite heavy it's there's a lot to it um so anyway so i'm gonna have two engines just in this carriage i'll have the other carriages will just be uh free running there will be no power functions in those and then i'll have the uh the unpowered engine up front so this thing this whole carriage will bas basically be doing a push pull for the whole build when i do get it on some track um yeah look there's not much i could do with hiring oh, hiring hiring <laughs> Hiding the uh, the wires in the battery box. So, look, I mean, I don't think any. If I've got it running around a track, who's really going to look in the windows? There's no there's no interior. There's no minifigs. There's no seats. It's just it's purely just for show on the outside. Oh, and there goes my pointer. We'll just put him back together. Um, I did use one sticker from the Harry Potter set, so I'm going to have to get a couple more sticker sheets for that. I've got that one, and there's one on either side. Both sides are identical, you know, as far as the doors. I did have the doors originally um, two studs wide, but I did extend it out to three today. I think it scales a little bit better. The two studs looked a little bit narrow because, I mean, obviously, people and minifigs uh, have different proportions. I do need to order some more ice skates because I used the only four spare ones I had as handles there. For the uh, for the doors, and if you didn't notice that strip that runs across the uh, the length of the carriage in the uh, in the set, it's a dark tan, dark tan plate. But I've actually had a bit of um, gold plate, so I've run gold plate along the whole length and the other side. But I pretty much used all of what I had just for this one carriage. So I am going to have to go and uh, order some more, and they're not really cheap, so it's a bit of a bummer. But I think the gold the gold really um accentuates the rest of the train so much better than the dark tan i have made it so this section of roof comes off from about there to there i won't pull it off there's not really much point there's nothing inside it's like i said it's just the battery box and hiding the wires we'll get big ron out of the way for a minute oh, i have a bit of ballast track i'm sure most of you know most of you know how to build this by now um if you have any questions just ask me about it it's quite simple I did do all that sort of greebling and support underneath the uh, the middle here. Don't ask me what any of it is for or what it does because I'm no train expert. I have no clue. So if you have any idea, let me know in the comments. 
But yeah, I just sort of used uh, just Google Images and looked up the Hogwarts Express and just worked off it. This isn't, you know, totally movie accurate because if it was, the engine would, the engine, sorry, the carriage would probably be, you know, another third, third in length. It'd be out here somewhere and that's just too big for minifigures and for Lego tracks. So I've sort of stubbied it up a little bit, but it's still bigger than the standard, um, standard carriages you get from Lego sets. Uh, the roof's quite simple. I've just got a couple of these printed grill tiles, you know, just, it, it, yeah, anyway, very easy on top. Not much to see there. Um, you can't really see it in this light, but I did change up the doorway, just made a lot more detail. I mean, this just looks like a big mess. You can't really see it in that lighting, but anyway, it's there. Believe me, guys. I'll put some photos up on Instagram, so just check me out, MK Bricks. You'll see all my builds on there. Uh, is this going to focus or not? Okay, so it won't focus now. There we go. All right, we're back. And Big Ronnie can come back. So anyway, guys, that's it. The next stage will be probably probably making three more carriages, and then I'll get onto the uh, the front of the train, the rest of it. Uh, look, thanks for tuning in, guys. Even though... It's not Fallout. You know, I still do build a lot of other things. So thanks for watching. My next video will will be Fallout. So look, if you want to skip this one and go to that one, that's up to you guys. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, yes, hit the subscribe button, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Check me out on, on Instagram, MK Bricks. Um, you know, spread the word. Tell your mum, tell your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your dog, whoever has a uh, YouTube account to watch. Because I'd really appreciate it. So thanks guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.